for us finding those people that actually got Bradley was a big thing we've become really good friends with a family that has a child on the spectrum and it's so nice to go to their house and just talk you need that person to go this is not good today and I need to get it out but understanding what people are going through on the same page as you is very important family friends don't even get autism so if you can have that support network of someone that does get it or a group if that works for you that gets it or an early intervention vet therapist that gets it um, go with it when my son was diagnosed I was actually in quite a bad state mentally and I was seeing a psychiatrist at the time and she gave me an excellent piece of advice which was not to get support so much from my husband as from my female friends and I remember being pretty angry with her at the time because I thought husbands and wives were supposed to support each other but actually she was right on the money because it was the other mums who were living the same life as I was living who did give me really good support and that took the pressure off my husband husband and really really helped me come to terms with things and just get back on the mental straight and narrow and be the jolly person that I wanted to be with my children. In the early days like maybe the first week after diagnosis or first month, month after diagnosis the huge help was the Facebook community. But those were the first few mums in my first few weeks had really helped me to find out what should I look for find a therapist who is going to help with the symptoms which my daughter is showing what kind of qualification I'm looking for in a therapist who can really help me with the symptoms and what are the options the community and the fellow moms were the only support through whom I survived and managed to find the right professionals on my team and so I think that that's where the peer support comes in because you sit there and you talk to another parent who's not necessarily walking the same journey but a similar journey and you ask them, well, what's worked for you? And it doesn't mean it's going to work for you, but it's something else to try. I think you've got to be careful online. I think that you can go down rabbit holes of negativity and doom and gloom. But one thing that I found really useful was finding um, other parents who had the similar um, experience or who was slightly ahead of me in the journey and also um, people with disabilities as well people with autism living um, with autism I think you get a big a big huge amount of support from that online environment where if you don't have access to you know a therapist just having um, there is so much online so yeah it's just weeding out the good from the bad that's the only that's the only challenge. Don't stay up till 4 a.m. every night. <laughs> but if you take one thing away and you just focus and go, I got one thing new out of that, that was really good. Um, and we've had, you know, with our, some of our groups, we have parents come in with notebooks and they just take away one new thing and then they come back in the next month. So it's about pacing yourself in a realistic way that works for your family. But the peer support is probably the most important thing that I can... Um, that I can offer because for us that was our lifeline. The friendships that were made when the kids were really young have lasted a long long time and I still think that we need each other in the way that we used to before because we're always navigating new steps for our children from school to the very stressful elements of moving school into high school also beyond high school there have been a lot of ups and downs and it's really only my friends who've also got children on the spectrum who have the empathy um, that makes me feel um, understood and heard and loved. So I have clung to them like uh, for many years now and still clinging. We went to a family camp knowing nobody and my husband didn't want to go because why was I going to make him talk to more people? And suddenly we came home, he went out and bought an esky for the next family camp because he didn't feel so alone and he didn't feel awkward and he didn't feel that it was his bad parenting that had caused the children's behaviour. So for me, peer support is everything. You will benefit from having those people in your life. So what is a mums? The best thing about them is you don't have to explain how hard your day is.
they just get it because they have been through that and they know that you are doing your best to just survive this day and that just helps connect directly to you that i know i exactly know what you are feeling and that's the word makes a difference